Greetings everyone. Back down at the build site today. Uh, I plan on putting in that underground electrical warning tape. But the first thing I did was added the pressure reducing valve to my water line after the water meter. But of course, I didn't film it. I must be new. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I, uh, that's going to be the actual uh, reducing valve for the house, which will go over where that two inch line comes up out of the foundation. Uh, I need to have full pressure going to my fire sprinklers. And then uh, I'll split off right at right where the fire sprinkler split off to put this reducing valve back in. But I've got it in temporarily here just so I don't blow up any more garden hoses and I put in a, a union there, so it'll make it nice and easy to, to take that out uh, at the end of the day. The roll of warning tape for the electrical came in, and I'm gonna get that installed today. But here's what it looks like. It's got caution buried electrical line below, and I guess it's almost like a mylar and maybe that's how they can detect it. I don't know if it just uses a metal detector, but I'll have to read up on it some more, but I definitely wanted to get this in on all the buried underground lines. So let's get going. All right, let me reach down and grab this warning tape. Go in the right direction here. We'll attach it up here. It will be above the cement, so you will see it and know that it's there. It's kind of twisted. All right, bring it down to the bottom now. Just when you think you're done laying on your stomach, you get to do it some more. All right, that's wrapped up. Let's, uh, let's unroll this in the ditch. All right, here we go. I have enough folded over there to go the rest of the way to the foundation once all the cement work's done and we start backfilling this trench here. Or, you know, the what we cut out to set the forms. And now for the fun part. I'm going to backfill about six inches, wet it down real good so it compacts and then I'll go the next six inches and wet it down and um, probably what I'll end up doing is I'll heap the dirt just a little bit where this is um, so as it settles it'll come right down to the, the level of the grade. So let's get going on that. While that water's soaking in, I'm going to need to build a little dam across here. Otherwise that dirt's just going to keep filling back in my trench. So let me go get a probably a two by 10 or so, two by 12, probably a two by 12 almost, and a couple of stakes and block that off. That should do the trick. I don't know if you guys can hear that other than the chainsaw. 
But that sure sounds like B-17s flying out there. It is Memorial Day weekend. And I wonder if they are offering rides in the old bombers. If they happen to fly over, we get a shot. That one is all done. So I just gotta do this trench, the little one that goes over to the future bocce court, and then out in the front. I'll just give you an update when I finished each of them. I won't uh, bore you with shoveling dirt. There is the connecting line prepped and I have the tape going out to that little short one also. So, got a backfill. This crossing section from one pier to the other on the outdoor living in the back is done and so is the other line for the future. Let's go head out front. The line crossing from one pier of the portico tray to the other is all prepped. And so is the line going back to the entry. And kind of where that ditch ends, uh, I've got a bunch of extra there to go the rest of the way when we start backfilling over there. So now I just need to build a couple of dams here to hold the dirt back. So I need one, two, three of them. So I'll build those and backfill. And when I come back, it'll all be done. Everything is covered back up and ready for concrete. I will pull those little dams that I made right before we pour concrete. I'm going to let that dirt harden up there. I soaked it really good right up against that board so to form a new wall there. I'm going to call it a day, head home for a shower and shave because we are headed to the Mediterranean Vineyard in Fairplay for a concert tonight. Uh, on the grass. So we're going to sip some wine and listen to some music. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.